This illustration deals with chapter 5, articles 500 through 590. Now, again, we have uh, reviewed uh, chapter 1, the 100 series, chapter 2, the 200 series, chapter 3, the 300 series, chapter 4, the 400 series. Now we're reviewing uh, chapter 5, the 500 series. And we're kind of picking on uh, hazardous locations uh, with our illustration. Now, notice we have uh, 501.15, which deals with seals. If we're selecting uh, wiring methods, we go to 501.10. If we were selecting uh, special type pieces of equipment, we'd go to uh, 501 and go through the uh, section that dealt with the type of equipment that we were installing. Now, uh, notice that's explosion proof equipment and the definition now is in Article 100, Part 3 of such equipment. All hazardous locations definitions are now in the new Part 3 to uh, uh, Article 100 based upon the 2020 NEC. 500.7a of the code deals with protection techniques that are used in classified locations and 500.7a is explosion proof type equipment along with UL 1203 which tells you uh, much much more about explosion proof equipment. Now the NEC loop points out that 500.2 will no longer contain definitions. It's Article 100, Part 3 now. 500.2 was just the definitions were moved and scattered uh, through Article 100. And they, they did, uh, the designers in hazardous locations, as well as electricians and the inspectors, did, they really didn't like that. So uh, they said these definitions were uh, uh, harder to find. So they just said, okay, we'll provide a Part 3 and put all the definitions in part three of Article 100 in alphabetical order so they're a lot easier to find like they used to be in 500.2. So 500.7a through l deals with the protection techniques that are allowed to be used in classified locations. Now, if we wanted to take, for example, a Hoffman box and install hermetically sealed contacts or use non-incentive circuits, then 501.105A and B would deal with instruments, or relays, things like that. And 501.150A would deal with the communication circuits, uh, control circuits, and those kind of items. Now, uh, purged and pressurized equipment, you have to also use NFPA 496. I chaired that committee for about 12 years, and it included uh, NFPA 497, which deal with gases and vapors. NFPA 499 dealt with dust and uh, flyings and that kind of thing. And then NFPA 496 dealt with purged and pressurized equipment. Now notice again the definition of a system that's purged and pressurized is found in part three of article 100 in alphabetical order. 500.7 D is in dog now, deals and allows purged and pressurized equipment to be used. But to use it as a type X, Y, or Z, you have to go to NFPA 496. Now we have a complete outline in our uh, Stalkup's uh, electrical design book uh, that deals with hazardous classified locations. And if my memory serves me right, uh, I believe that's around uh, chapter 10, I believe. But you would pick up uh, a great number of pages that deal with classified locations. So if you're designing in these areas, it will list the sections and illustrate what could be used, such as equipment, wiring methods, seals, locations, groups, and this kind of thing. So chapter 5, in accordance with figure 1-9, 
is illustrating the 500 series, Article 500 through 590. And we've just pulled up Articles 500 and 501 to illustrate the using uh, the Chapter 5, uh, 500 series.